Local weather authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Happy Friday to you. Yeah, big difference in the weather here over the past 12 to 24 hours. When I came into work this morning, it was in the low to mid 60s. Now here we are with a lot of us in the 30s and in the 40s. All has to do with a shift in the wind direction. You see Whitville at 31 degrees. Lewisburg, we're about 30 degrees colder than we were at this point yesterday. Smith Mountain Lake, 46 degrees. Danville holding our own at 53. Currently in the Star City, we're at 42 degrees. And temperatures for the most part are going to remain steady here as we go through the rest of the afternoon. So what you see is what you get as you're picking up the kids from the bus stop. Supper time, we're slightly cooler for a night out. If you're planning that temperatures in the low to mid 30s and then overnight, our temperatures continue to drop. So yeah, again, this morning we woke up to temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Not at all the case tomorrow. Floyd Withville, Pulaski, Lexington, 23 degrees. Rocky Mountain, Covington at 25 degrees. Danville, Alta Vista, Bedford and Lynchburg at 26 and thankfully the wind is not going to be that big of an issue tomorrow morning. But that changes as we head into the afternoon. Once again, from the west and northwest, about 15 to 25 miles per hour with wind gusts tomorrow afternoon. Again, 30 to perhaps as strong as 45 miles per hour. Completely separate cold front passing through. Now, it's not going to make things much colder, but it is going to keep things pretty windy at times due to the difference between high pressure to the west and low pressure to the north and east. Eventually, high pressure comes into control of our weather by Sunday, leading to a calmer wind with the bulk of mild air just camping out to the south, begging to come into southwest and central Virginia. Not going to make it quite here as we head through the weekend. In fact, seasonably cold in the NRV and Highlands, 40s for highs. Roanoke, Lynchburg and Southside low to mid 50s tomorrow. And we do it all again Sunday, though, without the wind. We'll start in the teens, but we'll end up with highs in the 40s and 50s. So as you make your way through your weekend, make sure you stay connected with us when we're not on the air. Look up WSLS 10 weather in your phone app store. And then as we've been doing all along these past couple of weeks, the weather is going to change again heading into uh, early next week. You see the wind coming in out of the southwest. That's unseasonably warm and humid air. Again, it's not going to feel like July, but by February standards, it's going to feel a little humid out there. And with that comes the chance for some rain, some of which could be on the heavy side, just depending on the exact location of a front that's going to meander around. So the question is often why do we keep swinging back and forth? We're winter one day, we're spring the next day, and this is kind of typical for this time of year as we continue to gain daylight at a quick pace, especially farther south of here in the tropics. Every time the jet stream dips, we get much colder. Every time it retreats back to the north, we turn much more mild. So, you know, a lot of us like to say, oh, that's Virginia weather for you. It's actually kind of typical right this time of year that we we bounce back in between seasons. All right, we're going to feel like winter this weekend. Temperatures in the 20s tomorrow morning, teens in the low 20s Sunday morning with highs in the 40s and 50s each afternoon. Then as we head into next week, we'll start you out with President's Day. You see high temperatures, upper 50s and lower 60s. We're mostly dry too with an increase in clouds. Decent shot of rain coming into the forecast Tuesday, and this front is just going to meander around. So its exact location is going to determine uh, your rain chances and how warm we get. So it looks like Tuesday still very mild. Highs in the 60s by Wednesday, back down into the 50s, though, by Thursday of next week.